Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading, Sagittarius, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading, Sagittarius. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Wands. So this is fire energy. You could be dealing with um, another Sagittarius, an Aries, or even a Leo with this energy. So this is an energy of there being some sort of competition. Um, you may be in a situation where you feel like you have to fight over someone or fight for someone. Um, you and a person may not be seeing eye to eye, or this could be um, an external um person, a third party, someone outside of the connection who is making things difficult for this connection to really thrive and it's it's causing you to have to really almost feel as if you're competing against someone and um, this can also be some sort of inner conflict in a situation so there's a lot of um, chaotic energy with this card, there's a lot of fighting and um, conflict and um, competition even with this card so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about the Sagittarius <clears throat> so the first card we have here is the Knight of Wands so this is fire energy again Sagittarius Aries Leo energy next we have the page of Wands some more fire energy Sagittarius Aries Leo energy and finally we have the death card. So this is Scorpio energy. Okay, so I do see that it's possible that you may be dealing with someone who's very passionate and very fiery energy here with this Knight of Wands. This is someone who who's very... Um, uh, they, they have a lot of passion towards you and they may be very exciting, a very fun lover and really knows how to give you a good time. However, with the Knight of Wands, this can also show someone who can be a bit inconsistent, a bit in and out of your life. And um, this person may be um, non-committal. This can be a person who, who likes fun and is always there for the good times, but they don't stay very long. This is someone who's... Um, who can even have a little bit of a player-like energy to them. So with the Page of Wands, I do see this person, it's possible this person is younger than you, or this person may be a bit emotionally immature. So this person may like getting a lot of attention, and there may, um, you know, there may be a lot of people that they lead on. And as a result, this can create this feel, feeling of there being a lot of competition. Because this person, um, they, they have a way of... Um, being very charming and, you know, being there for a good time, but not really a long time. So I do see this person, um, it's almost like they cause chaos um, because they're so free-spirited that they can leave a trail of heartbreaks behind them um, with this Knight of Wands energy. And um, with this Page of Wands, it's also, this is again, a, a bit of an immature energy. This is a person who um, who can be impulsive, they go for what they want, they do what they feel like doing, and um, they're very passionate as well. So I do see this person being very attracted and interested in you, and um, coming towards you, wanting to communicate, reaching out. This person may be in and out, however, and this could be what's causing this conflict. Um, they, you could have some inner conflict when it comes to the situation with this Five of Wands. This is um, some in, internal unrest. Um, because you could, you don't know how to predict this person. This person can be a bit unpredictable. So um, they may be acting right today and then tomorrow they could be gone. So with the death card, this is a transformative energy. So you may be considering um, 
leaving the situation ending things or wanting to really transform the situation because i do see that this is a situation that is already doing some work in you transforming you and um showing you some you know patterns or beliefs that you may have within yourself so i do see a lot of transformative energy death and rebirth this press this um this connection may be an on and off again on again off again situation and um it may um have that death and rebirth or this regeneration scorpionic energy here and um there could be a bit of a, a, a pull towards this person um, um some platonic elements to this connection there can be some obsessions controls um those elements to the connection so let's clarify these cards Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Pentacles. So this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. You could be dealing with any of those signs. So this is an energy of needing to restore balance to this connection. Um, there is a, this person may be um, very, uh, inherently, they are a, a taker. And um, this can cause some imbalance in the connection where it feels like one person is giving more to the connection than the other. There is This can feel very one-sided. And um, there is a need to restore balance here. Um, and I do see that this is possible with the Six of um, Pentacles energy here. This is trying to balance things out and so trying to um, get this person to really reciprocate. So there is a need for that here. So I do see that it may be a bit of a struggle getting this to happen though. Um, this person is very free-spirited and has a way of always putting themselves first. This is someone who likes to um, do what they want, what they feel like. They they can be a bit impulsive and so this can end up being in a situation where it's a bit one-sided where this person is always um, focusing on themselves and taking and receive and giving less. So I am seeing that there is a need for balance in this situation here. Yeah. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. So we have the Two of Cups. This is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. Next we have the Seven of Cups. Water Energy again, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And finally we have the Three of Swords in the reverse. So this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. Okay, so I am seeing that this person... Um, there is a very intense and strong connection with this person. There is love here and uh, mutual attraction. The, the feeling is mutual here. However, with the Seven of Cups here, I do see that this person may have, um, they may entertain a lot of people or they may have other options as well with the Seven of um, Cups energy. And this person may um, make promises or sell dreams almost um you know promising you a lot but it's not very clear whether this person is capable of um really return reciproc like um following up on these promises really so this is someone who makes a lot of promises this is someone who it's with the seven of cups this is almost like they can sell you a dream this person has big dreams and big plans and they say that they'll do a lot but um, with this Knight of Wands energy, this person may start off very strong, but is not really capable of sustaining that. They, they're not very consistent. And um, with this Three of Swords here, I do see some um, heartbreak, pain here with this um, card here. But I, I see that since this card is in the reverse, it's possible that um, you may be out of this energy now. Um, you're overcoming this. There is a rebirth. There was a lot of pain in the situation, and I do see a potential for healing here. Yeah. Um, you're 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 really transforming a lot from this connection. It's changing you from the inside out, and I do see a lot of lessons being learned here on your part. So this is a this could be a karmic connection. This is um, something that needed to happen for your personal growth. Is what I'm seeing here, and um, with this person, it's up to you ultimately if you 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 can you know trust this person but there is them 
showing up as a bit unreliable but there is an intense connection here and they do have love for you with this um two of cups energy this is a mutual attraction a very intense and strong connection this person they feel um tied to you so i do see that they they reach out to you they come towards you this is someone who pursues you um it's just that they're not very consistent and it's possible that they may have other options as well with the seven of cups energy so that's what i'm seeing for you sagittarius it's very important to practice balance in this connection because with this um, six of pentacles energy it is showing up as if um, this connection may at times be a bit one-sided so this person is very much of a free spirit but um, they can have a tendency to focus more on themselves and to think for themselves only instead of their partner but there is mutual affection here so that's what i'm seeing for you sagittarius i hope you have a really good day sagittarius Bye, Sagittarius.